The federal trial of the three men convicted of killing Ahmaud Arbery is set to resume tomorrow with closing statements from both sides. 11 Alive's Cares Belger has insight on what will come next and also what legal experts are saying. Karis? Now, good morning. So in addition to the closing arguments from both the defense and the prosecution, the jury will also be the jury is also expected to begin deliberating. And the question they're being asked to consider is if both the McMichael's actions and those of William Roddy Bryan were racially motivated over the course of this trial. They've been they've seen um, social media posts. They've also heard testimonies and character witnesses. One former co-worker of Travis, Travis McMark, McMichael, who previously day-to-day -day black man testified that racist comments were made towards her in, re in reference to her relationship. An 11 Alive legal analyst Paige Pate said that all of this combined may be enough for the jury to deduce racial motivation for the killing of Ahmaud Arbery. So if you have defendants who are publicly, at least within their, their group, their friends, their neighbors, their co-workers, expressing racial hatred in those conversations, then it's not a long jump to them committing a crime motivated by race. Now, in addition to those social media posts and also those witness testimonies, the jury is also going to be asked to look over forensic evidence, including autopsy photos as well. So all of this is what they're going to have to take into consideration when they are expected to begin deliberating next week. All right, now we'll be keeping a close eye on that. Karis, thank you for that live report. And Wednesday marks two years since Ahmaud Arbery was murdered. Arbery's mother, Wanda Cooper Jones, plans to remember him at the National Center for Civil and Human Rights next week. Lawmakers recently passed a resolution to make February 23rd Ahmaud Arbery Day.